guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today I would like to share with you a much requested video and that is about my new aero bar setup for Ironman Distance Triathlon. And this is kind of like an update video to the video that I made a year and a half ago about my tri bike. And this is kind of like the changes I've made after using that setup and I think it has some takeaways that can be really helpful for anyone out there. I made some different upgrades but I kept some other parts the same and I believe that these things really help in having a really streamlined aero position and that really makes a massive difference over a long distance. Even one kilometer per hour more or any watts saved can really help on such a long distance as an Ironman distance track. My aero bar setup is composed of a Deda Espresso tri bar to which I have attached a different set of aero bar. What happened is a friend of mine from Algeria saw a video of me riding and he was ruthless. He told me, dude, you need to change out those aero bars. They are way too short for you. And I looked back at the video and I was like, these really are so short, why am I using them? And I was using a pair of Deda Parabolica aero bars. I looked online for a pair of aluminum aero bars that would be long enough for me to actually rest my arms on. I settled upon a pair of profile design ski bend aero bars. And what I did is they come as a J bend, so flat, and then up like this. But what I did to achieve the praying mantis position, praying mantis position is with your hands as far close to your head as possible, is I mounted them the opposite side around. So with the short part in the aero bars, and then with the really long part that comes up. And if you see a lot of professional triathletes, they do this because it really helps to get those hands together up top. I put these aero bars really close together and this made immediately a massive difference both in comfort for my really long arms and I still have space with these I can I still have like one or two centimeters if I want to and as far as aerodynamics go so the biggest upgrade I made was that put in some really long aero bars and I believe almost anyone can benefit from this because I've seen a lot of setups that have really short aero bars and long aero bars are just really more comfortable and more aerodynamic the second thing I did was to put a bottle cage between my extensions and just put it in with some zip ties. What this means is I could take out my bottle from the frame, take it away and just have some hydration right in front of me. And this is really, really comfortable to get while you're riding. I think possibly I could have put in like a profile design hydration system and that would be great. But the thing is I didn't want the extra weight from it. I didn't want any parts messing around with my aero bars and the other reason is because of the third upgrade that I made. And this is a bit of a hack and I don't actually know if it is so much better, but I did it and on the test rides that I did, I believe it works. So what I did is I cut out a piece of basically plastic material, I cut it to the exact shape of my aero bars and I just put it as like a windshield underneath my aero bars, sticking it on with black electrical tape. And this basically makes it so that no wind is coming in between the aero bars, which is, a, it makes a lot of like turbulence when it enters that zone. And with this thing, it just slides down and it just slides away. Now I'm no aerodynamic expert, but based on feel and experience, this really, I believe allowed me to gain even just like maybe five watts, but I think it's really worth it. So that might be something that you could look into. I've seen pro triathletes do it well, first off with carbon 3D printed cockpits, but other people I've seen it done with yoga mats. I've seen it done in photos online with uh, just black electrical tape. There's people who just tape their aero bars together so they, there's no air flow coming through that. But I just thought, why not make something more kind of like permanent? And first off, I took like the lid of a Nike shoe box in cardboard, cut it out, put it in to see if it worked. I did one test ride, it worked great. So I said, okay, let's start thinking about making it with some plastic material. So I went around all the like DIY shops and I found the, the perfect uh, plastic material, which is like thick enough so that it doesn't bend in the wind, but it isn't heavy, it's very light. So actually it doesn't weigh anything, this windshield. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video not to recommend this exact setup. I would not recommend the Deda Espresso tri bar to anyone. It is not a good base tri bar. That's my belief. It's clunky, it's old school, it doesn't have any regulation because it, it just has these like fixed places where you have to put the aero bars in. It's just, I don't dig it, it doesn't work for me. But it's what I have right now, so it's what I'm using. With these modifications, so with really extra long aero bars that come up really a lot, the windshield and the hydration system in the front, 
I think this is an updated version of Aero Bars that can really work well and it might be worth experimenting for you guys. Why not try out some extra long profile design bars? I have no affiliation with the company, but they're cheap, they're fairly light and they work good. That's it for the updated tri bar setup for long distance triathlon. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and maybe consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye and thanks for watching.